Hey everyone, I am so excited. I'm leaving for Montreal right now. I'm about to get in my car, message my oomphies that I'm hopefully gonna meet up with there and let them know I'm leaving. Um, so I'm heading to Otakuthon in Montreal to see Blank Paper, which some of you may know is a group that was formed by Kota Kumi and her husband Kenji. Uh, kind of secretly. I guess all the fans know now that it's them, so I don't really know if we're like keeping up with the pretense that it's not them, It's, <laughs> but they perform in disguises. Um, so I'm hopefully going to be able to vlog some of it. I still can't really believe this is happening. Like I keep expecting to get a message that it's cancelled or something. I bought this ticket months ago. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm really really excited. I can't believe it's happening. And um, they're, the ticket comes with a signing, so I am going to actually meet them also. Um, yeah, I'm kind of mind blown right now, so yeah, I'm gonna head out now. So let's just do a fit check before I go. I'm wearing this super oversized Black Cherry Relive t-shirt I got from Kodakumi's fan club store. Um, and just some jeans, but yeah, I'm also wearing this black cherry necklace I got because it's black cherry. So, yep, <laughs> that's it.
センターのみんな、えー、ーカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカブランクペーパー。Songs and the back on songs that I knew were going to be on the set list, but、um, his energy live was awesome and like his voice was really great. He even did some、um, like new metal style screaming、um, at one point, and yeah, he really slayed. I was so so impressed. And there was a little boy filming the whole thing. Who I'm pretty sure is their son, and it was so cute. Like, it, I was melting. He, he was adorable. He even got up and stayed at one point and was filming them. So, the only bad thing that happened was、um, Kumi fell at one point.、Um, Kenji like, climbed down from the stage during the encore song, and then Kumi tried to climb down as well、um, and fell. And、um, she seemed to be okay. And she and Kenji actually like ran around to the front of everyone and was touching people's hands. I couldn't quite reach, but I was absolutely losing my mind. But then after the show, so we, we went out、um, back into like the hallway in the convention center to do a signing, which was included with the concert ticket. And after we waited there for the signing for about 45 minutes, Um, 15 minutes before it was meant to start,、um, an employee came out and said that unfortunately they couldn't do the signing due to unforeseen cir- circumstances. So I'm pretty sure what happened is Kumi actually hurt herself、um, when she fell. I'm just speculating, but、um, I'm pretty sure that is probably what happened. It was just probably in too much pain or. Maybe had to go to a hospital or something. I really, really hope she's okay. Like, she got up after she fell and was running around and stuff. But、um, yeah, so the convention said they're still gonna mail us a signed poster, which is what we were gonna get with the, the meet and greet signing. It's just too bad that we didn't actually get to meet、um, Casper and Teresa、uh, afterward. But、um, Yeah, definitely still had an amazing time, and I feel very, very lucky that I was able to see them、um, at their North American debut in Montreal, of all places. So,、um, yeah, and I am now a Kenji Stan. <laughs> so, yeah,、um, definitely my favorite parts were the Kodokumi songs.、Um, the way they presented them during the concert is. They had these screens with text up in English, and they were saying like their unfinished songs、um, or something. And I don't really know why they're presenting it that way because, like, obviously they're old songs and we know them. But、um, I saw in like other places, like on the convention's Twitter, they were saying, oh, they're covering these songs by Kodakumi and Back On. But yeah, Kodokumi, she looked great. She's very petite. And I just found like the whole couple dynamic they had was so sweet. Like they. I just think it would be awesome to、um, 
have a band like with your partner and be touring with them and like have your whole family along like it was just so sweet and they would like put their arm around each other and yeah it was just so heartwarming <laughs> and, like um at the end of San no Kotoba 1000 words um I felt so emotional like as I was listening to the song I remembered like teenage me listening to that song and especially the English version which is not by Kodokumi but like that was in high school was when Final Fantasy X came out and like I was just thinking about that perspective and like my age now and how many years have passed since then and I somehow was now hearing that song live in my home country like what I'm like mind blown and like everyone was screaming uh that was in the audience at the end everyone was like freaking out and it made me like a bit emotional just hearing everyone loving the song uh the super old song from a video game <laughs> I don't know it really touched my heart so um yeah I I feel so lucky and I'm so glad I was able to go and I really really hope Kumi is okay um and I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog and I hope that you are able to see blank paper at some point or um some of your faves as they are coming back um since the pandemic started um bringing concerts back and yeah I'll see you in the next video